Being a high schooler is no easy task. Sometimes all the aspects can be overwhelming. Struggles among high school students include many things. Things like classwork, extracurricular activities, and even just getting through the day. It may seem like a lot, but I promise you, you can do it. I'm Austin Holloway, and I'll be your high school survival guide. Let's get started. While signing up for your high school courses, you may realize that there are different levels of rigor available to you. Words like AP and honors may seem daunting, but that leads me to tip number one. If you're up to the challenge, challenge yourself academically with a higher level course. Every student should aim to excel when it comes to their academic classes. And for the students who are up to the challenge, our campus offers many different levels of academic rigor. Honors and AP classes are both taught here on school campus. Honors is a high school course with elevated difficulty, and AP is a college level course. You can take many of your core classes and even some of your electives as honors or AP, and each of these levels have their own GPA boost. I'm sure everyone knows earning an A in a regular class will reward you with a 4.0 max GPA. But did you know earning an A in an honors class will reward you with a 4.5 max GPA? and earning an A in an AP class rewards you with a 5.0 maximum GPA. Dual enrollment is another level of rigor offered to Kathleen High School students. Just like AP, it's a college level course and it offers a maximum 5.0 weighted GPA. However, there are a couple of differences. AP classes take place here on Kathleen's campus, whereas dual enrollment classes actually take place here on Polk State's college campus in Lakeland. The main difference between AP classes and dual enrollment classes is that AP classes require its students to take an AP exam that's given towards the end of the school year, whereas dual enrollment classes only require you to pass the class for college credit. Taking your academic career to the next step can start in your high school years. Just set up a meeting with your guidance counselor to discuss what levels of classes would be right for you. Now, dual enrollment is an apply and accept program. So if you don't get accepted, don't be discouraged. Work hard in your honors and AP classes and apply again next year. I'm Jace Johnson, reporting for Ignition TV. Art at KHS has meetings after school from 2.30 to 3.30 every Wednesday. See Ms. Garcia for further information. Please hurry, there are only three pages left for senior ads. If you or your family want to purchase one, they're due by December 16th. And any pictures you want to turn in are due January 16th. Another staple of a good high school student is participating in extracurricular activities. Whether it be track and field, <laughs> taking an instrumental class to express your musical side, or venture into the world of art with an art club. Sadly, I'm not that great at any of these, but I still have to find my niche. With the countless number of electives and clubs offered on this campus, you can't go wrong. These classes are sure to make your high school years much better. Here's Brianna with more information on these clubs and campus. Studies show that students who are involved in extracurricular activities enjoy school more and do better academically. But I know what you're thinking. Staying at the school after the actual school day is over, you must be insane. But hear me out. By engaging in extracurricular activities, you learn things that your classes can't necessarily teach you. For instance, football teaches you the value of practice, how to work hard, and how to be part of a team, which could later benefit you in a workplace. Agriculture enhances your public speaking, you learn leadership development skills, and you also learn the importance of preparation. DistroTech is an academy offered at our school where you learn the foundation of the business world. You learn skills anywhere from setting productivity goals to how to manage employees. If one of these didn't catch your eye, our school has around 23 clubs, 14 sports teams, and six academies. Now you have many options to choose from, whether that be something you're already familiar with or that you want to try something new. Reporting for Ignition TV, I'm Brianna McKinney. Did anybody get the answer to number five? Why, of course I did. And even though I'm not sure that I should tell you what... Number five? Who cares about number five? More like, I give this class five out of five stars, am I right? Imbecile. Could you guys please keep it down? I feel horrible. My apologies. What about you? What did you get? That's another thing that you need to know about high school. Everybody's different. Some people you may like and some you may not. 
But that's tip number three. No matter who they are, you need to be accepting and considerate of them. Another day, another class. And with that class, your typical kinds of students. You know the ones we're talking about. So many types, stereotypes. Today, Gavin and I will be giving you guys some suggestions how to break out of your stereotype. But before we can tell you how, you must first recognize what stereotype you are. Let's get started. Hey, are you the new kid? Nice to meet you. Are you shy or something? Stop moving, man. Uh, the sonnet is a lyric poem of 14 lines. It has basically an E F E F G G uh, rhyme scheme. You notice that at the end of that rhyme scheme, the last two lines rhyme. Okay, guys, we're going to go over this test. Who knows the answer to number one? Number one is A. Then you have C, B, D, E. Then number six was kind of difficult, but it's E. Extra credit, 21. Let's move on. Can I get someone to help me pass these papers out? All right, so, as I pass out these papers, also playing your lesson plans with our head, pick up your coffee, also your dry cleaning. Anything else? That's it. Now, it's time to reverse the stereotypes. First is the shy kid. Look, don't be afraid to talk to people. You're never gonna break out of your shelf. All you do all day is just stare at the wall. Then you have the class clowns. Now, Gavin and I love to have fun and crack up, but look, this is class. People are trying to learn. They know it all. You may know every answer, but maybe some other student needs to ask a question. Is it really that difficult to share the spotlight? And finally, we have the teacher's pet. And we all know who this kid is. Look, the teacher loves and appreciates all the help that you give them, but just like the know-it-all, give other students the opportunity to help. Hopefully, we've given you a little background on what your stereotype might be and how to break it. As for now, I'm Peter Perez. And I'm Gavin Hawthorne. Reporting for Ignition TV. So many aspects play a role in your high school experience, whether it's academics, extracurricular activities, or just finding yourself. With the tips I've given you in today's show, you can help make these four years the best that they can be. I'm Austin Holloway, reporting for Ignition TV.